What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Cocteau Twins. And we're going back to Treasure 1984. Once again, big shout out to Doug for sending me the CD. And we're up to another name that I'm probably going to mispronounce. On the page, if it's a soft C, it looks like Sicily or Sicily. If it's a hard C, Caselli. I'm not sure what to make of it. Uh, I would guess more the soft C sound, but uh, I'm not aware of any references in this case. Again, there's been a couple along the way here where their names I'm familiar with through mythology, etc. But uh, yeah, um, I wonder what will lie in wait for us. So let's get straight to it as Luca finds her most comfortable and preferred position. This is Cocto Twins. The track is maybe Sicily, Sicily, or Caselli, and it's from the 1984 album Treasure. <laughs> stages, uh, but there's like nothing like Cocteau Twins, and even though their sound has evolved from what I first heard, and even though the different tunes do this in different ways, they're entrancing, transfixing, but also a bit um, hypnotic and disorienting. The quality of their song on a macro level, or songs, plural, on a macro level, is just crazy every time. And this one in particular, there's so many things where I'm, when I'm watching, when I'm watching, when I'm listening to some of the tunes these days, I really try not to talk too much. Not only because sometimes it's like, you know, the song makes it hard to hear exactly what I'm saying, but also because I'm trying not to like step on other parts of the tune. 
But to try to recall it all, there was that churning bass line below in some of the parts. There were elements um, that almost had a bit of a jazzy touch, like that organ-style keyboard. Um, oh, the juxtaposition of that guitar, which I think that was distorted guitar, like a guitar with some effects, but it had this real, like, underworld, but somehow, like, I felt like I was being pulled upward by it, but in a very... Um, ethereal and almost, um, again, like beyond the grave kind of way, and that's juxtaposed uh, with Elizabeth singing and having this, again, just this light, um, sublime elegance to it. So even as she does some more energetic and, you know, multi-syllabic runs, uh, so yeah, I really love the juxtaposition of that guitar, which was, again, sort of transcendent but in a really like unusual or um, sort of dangerous direction I don't know how to describe it but mixed with uh, Fraser's vocals that was really incredible so the whole sonic composition I enjoyed again um, phonetically and vocally uh, I feel like you know people will talk about the the essence of what she does here but you know I've learned you know, there's no real unpacking of uh, lyrics in a you know, more formal capacity, or at least, you know, there's no clear-cut black and white, this is what this means, and this is what this, you know, word sequence um, translates to in a more semantic sense like you get with most other groups. Obviously, there are other groups that use words in ways that are perhaps less traditional, but you all know this. I don't know why I'm spending time telling this to you, but uh, yeah, fantastic. Once again, shout out to Doug. You are greatly appreciated. Uh, and I believe there are two more tunes. Luca, I apologize. You're like, you know, sometimes she's sort of moving around. Yep, a little thumb bite because she was particularly comfortable. Uh, but yeah, she was, oh, that takes a swing at me. What's going on, Luca? I thought we had a connection. I thought we had a deal here. Do let me know what you think of the track. I will see you next time. Peace.